Hi YouTube. The RJ45 connector on my Long Plus 8 megapixel camera got corroded and now no longer powers on or connects to the network. From visual inspection, it looks like either moisture or water got in and corroded as well as burned some of the contacts since the camera is powered over ethernet. A lot of IP cameras use PoE for simplicity and this is something that usually happens over time. If you have a popular camera, you can usually find a pinout diagram online, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything for my camera. I visually inspected the camera inside and it looked fine, so I figured it would be worth a shot to try and replace the ethernet connector and see if the camera is still operational. There are some cameras where you can just replace the pigtail from the circuit board, but I wasn't able to find it and I already had parts at home to repair the connector. I decided to use a keystone jack since I already had one, but if you plan on using this camera outdoors, make sure to use a weather sealed plug instead. What I'm doing here is using a multimeter to determine which colored wire from the circuit board correlates to each pin of the RJ45 connector. On the multimeter, turn the knob to the symbol that looks like a sound wave, which is usually next to the resistance and diode setting, and start probing the wires. As you'll see on the screen of the multimeter, if there's no continuity, it just shows one. However, if you get partial or full continuity, the number changes, and most importantly, the multimeter will emit a sound. This is the best way to tell which wire correlates to a particular pin on the RJ45 connector. Here you can see the damage plugged. It may be hard to see, but they're usually not supposed to be charred or this dark in color. And here's some real-time footage of probing some more wires. Once you have figured out where the wire goes, grab your keystone jack and a punch down tool, cut off the damaged RJ45 plug, strip back the sheathing to expose individual wires, and now you're ready to wire everything up. And there's supposed to be 8 wires coming out of the camera, 2 positive, 2 negative, 2 for transmitting data, and 2 for receiving data. However, there's only one wire on the connector that delivers power from the camera, so I decided to wire the positive wire to the 2 positive positions on the keystone jack and do the same thing with the negative wires. That leaves us with four wires, which is a pair of transmit and a pair of receive wires. Based on the pinout, it looks like this camera uses the T568B wiring standard. I'll put up a picture of which wires go from the camera to the keystone jack. Also make sure you obtain good tools, since as you can see, I had trouble punching the wire down into place, which ultimately caused connection issues. 
Let's quickly time lapse this to see how much of a struggle I had wiring up the Keystone Jack with crappy tools, and then fast forward to a couple days later where I purchased a different punch down tool and a Keystone Jack holder. Ah, much better. What? Once everything is wired up correctly, reassemble your camera and test to see if everything is working. Plug the camera into the PoE adapter and a cable from the PoE adapter to your PC or router. Then connected to the VMS software on my PC that came with the camera and also tried logging into the web page for the camera and as you can see it works. I hope this helps anyone looking to repair or replace the Ethernet port on their IP camera. 
Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.